Hi, I'm Marla Ellerman. I'm publisher of Mobile Marketing Technology Magazine. We are here today with Oscar at the ETA show. He is with Charge Anywhere, and he's going to display, go through the display of products he has for point of purchase for wireless devices. Thank you, Oscar. Well, uh, uh, first of all, what does Charge Anywhere does, right? Um, and we uh, create secure payment applications that truly accommodate all transaction environments. So uh, you could be a merchant with your regular legacy system. You want to use your laptop to accept payments. You want to have an internet store that you need to accept payments. However, we certainly shine in converting mobile devices, cell phones, tablets, to secure payment acceptance or secure payment issuance products. So some of the things that we're actually showcasing in this event have to do with both sides of that equation. Accepting payments on mobile. So you are a merchant and you want to be able to use your iPad any type of operating system. You know, it's an operating system neutral platform. So you want to use your Android device, you want to use your Apple device, you want to use your Blackberry device, Windows based, Java, Brew, to be able to accept payments. You can do that securely. Uh, or if you want to be able to use any of those operating systems to provide your consumers to be able to pay with the phones, to have that concept of digital wallet or the mobile wallet. And finally, we also own the PCI Level 1 gateway, kind of the brain of the operation that connects to any processor of choice so you can deliver those transactions securely anywhere and everywhere in the world. So having said that, I'll, I'll show you some of the things that we're doing, okay? Um, this is actually a, an actual mobile cash register that a very well-known name in the industry, Papa John's Pizza, they were using in the stadium. So as they like walk in through the stadium, and assuring that you don't have to get out of your chair to be able to buy their product. So you can come in and notice that you can select. Show that. You can select the inventory items. You see what the detail is of that inventory item. I can certainly upload inventory from the tablet up to the brain of the operation, the PCI Level 1 gateway. Or I can actually download from the gateway to the device. So I can select the different items that I want to buy. I can say pay now. And at that point, I decide to pay by cash, or I can pay via credit card. In which case, you go ahead and you swipe the card. You submit that transaction. If we are connected here, we're going to be seeing a live transaction as well. Once the transaction gets processed, that was a live transaction, by the way, I get to sign on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and sign. Show the camera. Submit the transaction. Signature. Now, signature capture is very important, right? Because if you have an issue of a chargeback type of process, somebody wants to dispute a charge, we have an exact copy of that receipt with the signature on the cloud. So you never really have to ask the merchant for a paper receipt. Yeah. Exactly. Now, are all these transactions secured? For sure. One of the things that we do, and, uh, and we do very well in security, um, you know, first, any of the devices that I show you, the hardware side of it, and the way PCI works is that you have PCI that applies to the PET device, the actual hardware, that applies to the application, and then that applies to the actual gateway where the sensitive data is. We make sure that everything is properly compliant and validated. So we are encrypting right at the point of entry from the time you swipe that card, and then we're taking that data that connects and communicate with our application, and we encrypt that again via advanced encryption system finally goes to our gateway to get decrypted and connects on a one-to-one -one connection with that processor. So it's an extremely secure, as secure as you can get of a transaction with what they call end-to-end -end or point-to-point -point encryption. Um, another question I have is, is that <clears throat> if a merchant does not want to use your gateway, um, are they able to still use your technology, your software, your backend and go process the transaction through their own gateway or is this only, is all these services just tied into your own gateway? Well. The, the reason why the gateway, we do a lot of gateway to gateway connection. So if somebody wants to be able to have a gateway to then connect to other processors, the gateway has an array of advantages, of course. One, there's additional tools and benefits for the merchant to have. But most importantly, by having the gateway connected in the middle, we can assure that all the different devices, as you know, the devices continuously change, the application continuously change. Whatever that endpoint that is accepting that transaction, will have to be upgrading continuously to the applications. By having our gateway in the middle of that process, you can rest assured that that one-to-one -one connection with the processor doesn't get affected while everything else is being updated automatically for that client. So it is an important part of what we deploy to be able to have the gateway so it can work con you know, continuously. 
Right, and you also integrate with QuickBooks for accounting on the back end for, for uh, daily transactions and accounting services? Correct. One of the great things that we do is that we have a very strong, very robust uh, QuickBooks plug-in. So uh, the merchant can accept payments from within QuickBooks itself. So we actually have a menu within QuickBooks that would allow you to take those transactions, multiple batches at a time, ACH payments. Or better yet, any transaction that is mobile can be actually uploaded directly into your QuickBooks accounting. So the device will allow you to do the transaction, send it directly to the cloud. From any front end, you might have a phone that you're accepting delivery. You might be taking transactions from a regular point of sale, from your internet site. All of it is going to come in and download right into your QuickBooks accounting so it gets posted automatically. Yeah. Oscar, tell me a little bit about the wallet application that you have. Okay. Um, one of the unique things about the wallet, and uh, let me see if you can see it right here at this point. Um, is that we believe everything should be on the cloud, right? And there's these conversations about the secure element of the phone, and, and I think that we are yet to see how secure an element that you can take out of a phone and use somewhere else could really be. You know, as mobile, a cyber crime mo moves to mobile crime, I guess we're going to find out how secure that is. So the cloud has always been, you know, the PCI level one security validated cloud has always been the trusted source for this sensitive data. So our wallet works completely on the cloud. So the customer has three ways of paying. When they have the wallet, first you have a code to come into the wallet itself. So you have the first level of security is to open the application on the phone. Then if you happen to have an NFC enabled phone, you can go ahead, if the terminal of the merchant is NFC and you're ready to go application, terminal to application, that's great. If it's not, with a sign like this on the store that says, you are welcome here, pay with your phone, you can come ahead and show, and automatically it picks the merchant location of where you're going to buy. Now, once you pick that, you get to select the account. Now, please bear in mind that the account is not on the phone. The account, again, is on the cloud. So there is no sensitive data on the device. So we're going to go ahead and do that. The second level of security is my PIN to accept that transaction. And then we go ahead and send that for payment. And that's the end of that. So that transaction was approved. We know, for example, that it's going to have to go beyond payment. So one of the things that we do is that our gateway is level three when it comes to line item detail. I can send you a lot more data than just payment. So let's suppose that you want to have rewards, you want to offer coupons, discounts, right? So for example, if you see here in this application, we allow, it's Las Vegas, so we're going to allow customers to play a little game after they do the transaction. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and you get to spin the wheel, right? So we're going to go ahead and spin the wheel. <laughs> so <laughs> let's go ahead and do that. And um, what is happening, actually, was very amazing in here, is that once you do this, of course, in the demo, everybody wins, right? In, right. in real life, it might be a little different. Okay. But once, once you select the message that it gives you at the end, it's a message that got picked up from that merchant within the cloud. So that message could have been 10% next Tuesday, whatever that offer is for that merchant. So it's a very robust wallet. It allows you to pay in three ways. If you don't have an NFC phone and you want to do a QR tag transaction, I'm going to try to show that sideways in here. Let me see if I can do this. I can't see from the side. But... So notice that I just took a scan of the QR tag. It takes me to the same exact place. If I cannot do that either, then I can just do a manual entry of that merchant code and it's going to take me to the same place and complete that transaction. Wow, now that is technology at the finest in the cloud level. Thank that's great. Now, did we talk about the, the point of purchase uh, with the receipt? Yeah, I, I think an important point to talk about it. Um, as you can see in here, is that we have regular card swipe. If you happen to have a phone or a device that is NFC contactless enabled, you can go ahead and accept contactless payment. Like this is a Google Nexus S phone that would allow you to do just contactless transactions. We have, for example, a BlackBerry contactless NFC phone. So we can. You want to make sure that you accommodate all transaction types. So if you want to swipe a card, we have a device for you. If you want to do a contactless, like this kind of product type of card, you want to be able to accept that. And if you want to be able to accept EMV, as we know the rest of the world is EMV, the U.S. is going to kind of start going in that direction with a new roadmap. So we have the only EMV mobile device that is really working with our applications the same way that you see any of the other devices. So you can do EMV, swipe and pin, EMV 1 and 2 and pin, and you have the printer on the back everything more. Wow. Very exciting. Well, thank you so much, Oscar. We appreciate it, and good luck at the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching.